Okay, I'm gonna go get something to wrap up your, your wound, okay? Be careful! Cut. Alright. Three, two, one, action. Uh, my name's Joshua Matthew, and I wrote, directed, and produced The Rake. I'm also the CEO of Alpha Marshall Productions. Yeah, I can't. I can't really remember what what was my inspiration for the rake, um, but I do. I do remember when I would come up with the idea. Me and my buddy uh, Marcus were at a camp out at the campground that we had filmed at, and uh, we were walking around at night. We took a night walk. And we were we were walking around, and I said, "Dude, this would make a great place to make a horror movie." And uh, he's like, "Dude, you're right." And uh, we were we were talking about different uh, urban legends, and uh, I brought up the rake, and uh, so we started talking about that, and it once again snowballed from there, and now we're here, and that's that was the inspiration for it. So I I met Josh in um, high school. We both went to a, a career technology center for media production, and uh, I thought he was weird and mean and scary at first. And then we slowly became friends, and then he became my best friend. And we both love movies, and he he wrote the script for The Rake, and we, he just involved me in, in the production process, so. That first week was, in a word, hell. The first night we had, uh, we had one guy, but he ended up having to go home. And uh, we didn't have, we, we filmed little tiny shots here and there, but we, um, we, had, we had nothing. We had so many people drop, or um, Parker and Gavin, they got sick. So we, he was down to like four crew members and they were also acting. Um, so the, the night that I came, um, we pumped out the, almost the entire film. Is it in frame right now? No. Is it in is it in frame? Is it in frame? Two, one, action. I don't know man, there ain't no bird in the world that sounds like that. There's more to it. Sorry. Does that make right. sense? So listen, don't look. Be looking around or yeah, don't just like uh -huh, mugs. Can uh, we still whip it out like that? So we filmed from 2.30 p.m all the way through the night until about 7, 7.30 by the time we got back to the cabin. And we were exhausted. There were many drunk Red Bulls um, during the, that night. Are we still good? Yeah. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to the behind the scenes of uh, <laughs> Rafe, the movie. Um, I got two I'm scripts. Jay, I'm Laura, and I'm one of the stars of this movie. I'm here with, with these two guys. They don't matter, I'm... <laughs> Corinne, how do you feel about the scene you're literally right about to do? <laughs> I'm really scared. Rose is doing work when when we're out filming. She's doing work Why for other people. Filming? Josh made me lay on a carpet for four hours with blood. <laughs> but was that not the most fun you've ever had? No. I, I, was, I was not on the floor. One, go. We were filming uh, the truck scenes where there, where Andy and Lauren are sitting in the truck to escape from the rape. And uh, we, we had to have some sort of lighting, so we had the lights on, and then because um, the uh, 
it was the gas that had leaked out of it. Uh, the battery was still good, so we had the headlights on and everything, and I was like, we, we'll turn it off and, er, and then turn it on, get the alternator to charge the uh, battery a little more, um, and uh, but we waited too long, so the truck wouldn't start. So when you see it in the movie, we were we were faking that. You know, we didn't even turn the key over at all. And then right after we shot that, we actually tried to turn the key over, and it just <laughs> didn't work. I did not think that would be enough time to kill the battery. Oh, that's scary. That is scary. And it would have taken at least. 30 to 45 minutes, probably closer to 45 minutes, to walk back to the cabins from where we were. Uh, I Cause... say you guys probably start the generator and get a light going because this is <laughs> terrifying about the headlights. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, okay. What do we do? Yeah. Yeah. God, I. Oh, so. I, I got that whole thing. <laughs> oh. All right. Do you have the camera? Let me see the camera. Turn the camera. Oh. Okay. Forest. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Is the is the camera on? Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're in the forest. Josh ran his battery down on his car. Oh. Well, okay. So, the car stopped working while we were filming. So we're kind of just stuck in the middle of the woods. So, yep. um, JM and Gavin are gonna go get jumper cables, and we're just gonna hang out here in yep. the woods. So thankfully, um, Gavin had dri driven up separately, um, but we had to we had to jump 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 the truck, and we got it jumped. This is what happens. So I Onset of the rake. We have to jump a car. Rose is zonked out as I want to be right now. Can't be like that. But here we are. I, if they f up my car, I'm gonna cry. So we filmed the bulk of the film during that evening. And then a couple months later, maybe like a, I, I believe it was like a month later, we ended up having to do reshoots for a couple uh, scenes. I believe we went and grabbed food. We got Chinese food and then we went to Josh's aunt's house and we filmed in her backyard and we, we reshot um, the scenes of Nathan and Corinne in the tent. And uh, it, that was the night, it was super cold and, and rainy and uh, we had to, that was our first like uh, scene with the rake, uh, like the rake reveal, which was really cool. Okay, there it is. All right, everyone. Our director Josh is currently directing in the rake costume. So. <laughs> Rip. Silhouette <laughs> 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 over here. Wow, oh, that looks cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Behind the scenes. <laughs> the uh, like, wearing the rake costume was uh, it was it was interesting. It was very comfortable, uh, mostly because it was basically just a onesie. But when it was dark and you had a little bit of light shining on it, uh, the rest of it blended into the darkness and you couldn't really tell as much that it was a uh, one piece. I even directed in the rake suit and that was, uh, I, I got no respect for that. <laughs> none, none at all, everyone, everyone just sat there and laughed at me and uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. But there was there was also no visibility in that suit at all. So I'd have to take off the mask in between takes and direct people. And then right before we got ready to shoot again, we'd have to they'd have everyone would have to zip it back up, and it was it was awful. The last time we shot any big scenes was. Um, 
a couple weeks ago and we went to a park nearby and we shot the uh, extra scenes of Nathan and JM or Andy and um, and they they explore like the waterfall and they see the cave, the Rick's cave um, and we, we filmed all of that in an evening as well. Gimbal did something weird. Room tone, cave, action. Okay. Three, two, one, action. in here except for a rose. Hi Rose! There's no rose in here. No. Okay, Go happening. get out of my cave. So what is your name and what do you do as part of Alpha Marshall? Um, I am Karen Tiernan. I play Lauren. Well, I'm J.M. Ward, and uh, in The Rake, I play the role of Andy, Andy Carpenter. I'm Nathan, and I'm one of the actors. So, my name's Brianna. I filmed a little bit of stuff, and now I am just managing the, uh, the social media platforms and posting, posting any updates that, um, that we have. You said that you play Lauren, um, the the main character in the rake. Um, could you tell me maybe a little bit about what she's like? Um, for me, Lauren is a she's kind of a free spirited kind of person. She's not the brightest, um, but she does get smarter throughout the movie. Um, to me, I feel like she has to rely on others, but because there's no one left around her by the end of the movie. She has to rely on herself. Andy is, Andy's sort of a rough and tumble outdoorsman a little bit. Uh, he doesn't sit in a chair, he sits on the ground. Uh, he carries a gun, he carries a knife. He's, 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 he's very much uh, like a boy scout. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Josh is actually a boy scout. Josh is an eagle scout. He's an eagle scout, sorry. So who do you, who do you play in the movie? Chris. Chris. Uh, what is what is um what is Chris like? Uh honestly. He likes to be whiny, annoying, and play video games. You two were the two lead actors and how like doing your lines and whatnot, how was the script? How how did all of that go? And working together. How did working together go? Uh, well, uh, we, we certainly work together. <laughs> well, uh, the script is great, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah. a fantastic script. Uh, and I think it, it's easy to have chemistry. I think our characters, I think Lauren and Andy really have yeah, yeah. Uh, palpable chemistry uh, that you know develops throughout the movie. And I think it's really easy to do that when um, the script is as good as it is. Uh, but it's just, but also that the situation that they're placed in. I think that the situation that Lauren and Andy are put into really causes that that uh, that connection to grow and, along the way. And yeah. So I think you know. But we really, I really enjoyed working with you. I think we really enjoyed working together. I feel like with how our characters like played out, like I feel like there wasn't much difficulty with acting, I guess. I think the way they played off each other yeah, it was just yeah. really natural. Yeah. And especially getting just getting thrown into that situation that we were thrown into. Yeah. I think I think it really played out very well. What was your favorite scene from the movie? Honestly, probably when Andy said, Good boy, Tim, your girlfriend's a b <laughs> probably the most memorable line. I really liked 
like um, the, the the one scene that I mentioned that or well I didn't mention yet. Um, I really liked where where Josh and um, and JM were there and they were the last ones by the fire, and and Josh was like, okay, just um, just start talking about like like anything, and they have this whole entire conversation about all garden breadsticks. And I, it's just, it's just, it's, it's stupid. It's funny. I, I like, I like, I like it a lot. Yeah. You know? I mean, of course, there's gotta go pee. There's emaciated and pale, in which Tim is driving the car and recites the classic line, emaciated and pale. Do you, do you think anybody else is gonna find those funny except for us? Of course. Is there a like particularly difficult scene to film for you? I think the most difficult scene for me was the very end. What are you waiting for? I had to lay in rocks and it was like super cold that night, which is, that wasn't fun. But <laughs> um, I think the hard part about that was um, pretending to shoot again because I've I've never held a gun. I've never <laughs> I've never fired a gun. So I had to we they basically had to teach me how to what rebound? Is that the right word? Uh recoil. I am very grateful to have been a part of this project. I know um, some people might watch it and raise an eyebrow or two, um, but there was so much thought and work that went into it, and I, I really hope that all of you enjoy it. And uh, as much as we enjoyed filming it, it was the best experience of my life. I made lifelong friends, and I hope to do that again with more projects in the future. Ask us our question. All right. Um, so, did you guys have fun making the rake? Oh, it was a blast. Making the rake was it was very enjoyable, and we we all had a blast. Um, had a lot of fun, you know, hanging out with friends and whatnot. So it was it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, Josh, I'm the director and CEO of Alpha Marshall Productions. <laughs> I'm a nerd. This interview's over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.